of Talents. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The meeting is being recorded, both <clears throat> audio and visual, and will be posted on the YouTube channel in the near future. Um, there is cause for executive session regarding what? Uh, public safety. Okay. Uh, there's a, oh, okay. So, regarding um, personnel performance. Is that your motion to go into executive session? So moved. Second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 We just came out of executive session. We started off talking about uh, performance of the lead telecommunicator at the 911 center that also then leaked into performance of at least a couple other employees there as well. That's why it was exempt. Um, at this time, I would ask for the approval of the minutes from May 14th. If you've had a chance to review it. Yeah, there's, a, there's a correction I have. Um, I was not present at the meeting. I was going to call in and was unable to. Okay. And Keith had one. You want to present it, Keith? Uh, the timing of the executive section was actually 11:31 to 12:05, not 1:31 to 12:05. Okay. Oh, we time for it. <coughs> it was a long one. It was, it was a very long one. <laughs> 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 At least 12. <laughs> we brought the DeLorean. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Anything else? Down here. I'll make a motion to uh, accept the minutes with the correction. Second. Discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Request for the jail, uh, part time maintenance. Gordon Collins, would you uh, explain the uh, ask? Um, right now, we have one maintenance, one maintenance guy that does. The entire prison, as well as the sheriff's office needs, uh, he helps plowing in the winter time. Um, I'm not saying we're 100% overloaded, 100% of the time, but with only having one uh, maintenance technician, if he decides to quit or heaven forbid something happens to him, there's a lot of things that he knows about the facility that. Nobody knows. I mean, it's it's one of those things where I'm not saying everything's is rigged up a certain way, but to have somebody work part time, and I know it, it's probably a contractual issue to help with the courthouse, but you know, have have one body that could be shared between the two. All right, because yours is asked me, and theirs is SCA. Correct. There's never been an issue. We cut. We we. Had Matt come over when Rusty was off several times to fix different things. It's never been an issue, but the possibility is there that it could be. Right. Yeah, I think this is something that we need to have a powwow with the union about, both unions, to discuss because this is um, an issue that I think is is um, silly from my perspective. Um, and and, we've, and 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 I think everybody's assumed that it's the way it is because somewhere in the past there was some kind of discussion and there was an issue with you know Rusty's in this union this union handles the jail and shouldn't be doing anything for anybody else um, Matt's in this union or whatever the, the person over here and I, well Matt's non-union yeah right? Right. and Rusty is a union employee right. um, I don't I, I don't understand why um, we need. We should have a, a conversation with them about somehow stating that the, the responsibilities encompass the space, and then have right. you know our part timer assist Rusty with you know. Yeah, I mean, in, in my ideal world, I would have the maintenance director of the entire county also the maintenance director in a sense of the jail. The jail. Yeah. And whether or not he has employees under AFSME or he reports directly or SEIU employees report directly to him is of no consequence to me. I don't know if there's a big pay difference. Do you know what your maintenance supervisor, or excuse me, your maintenance specialist would be? I believe it's 1503. 
Well, that's significantly higher than SEIU. Do they have to, does that position, much like your Rusty, um, have to be certified to like watch uh, inmates and that sort of thing? Oh, it does not, okay. Doesn't they go to, don't they go to training? Rusty did, we sent Rusty because Right, you know, shortly after he started, yeah. that's when the work program really started to develop, and we wanted to utilize him in the work programs, which we haven't used, utilized him for that because he's got some of the other issues. Right. The I, I'd be willing to make a motion to table this until the next salary board in order to have a discussion about potentially um, mixing the responsibilities of the maintenance departments between the jail and the courthouse because we really should discuss that with them before we decide on this, in my opinion. There's a motion on the floor, is there a second? Second. Technically, it's not debatable, but I would like to ask, is there, a, is there any urgency that you're aware of that could not wait to the next meeting? Okay. Um, yes? I just wanted to say, you know, to, to muddy the water some more. <laughs> Oh, super. <laughs> well, well it, all, it, all, it all becomes, it all becomes as at one point in time when 911 was under the sheriff's office, like the tower site maintenance, the buildings and stuff there was under that maintenance person. Mm. At that point in time, it was, it was even before you, John, what was his name, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and then it was a muddied water when we moved to Youngsville. So was the maintenance person for the jail, should they be down working on stuff in the 911 center? Or should it be well, I think that? I think because that's, it's, yeah. it's, it was, it's, you know, that person's in the, the AFSCME union working on sheriff's office and jail. Well, why isn't that person working on 911? Because that's the AFSCME union. But then there's the emergency management, the other part of the building that's SEIU. Yeah. SEIU. I guess so I, guess I, I mean, that's here. something that needs to be brought up between both unions and yeah, on. So, and so let's set a meeting. I appreciate your recommendation, Commissioner. We'll set a meeting with both unions in order to hash this out. Yeah. Because okay. I, I think that nine tenths of it is just tradition. I think that, that years ago there were there were things, you know, like because then at the time, that's I mean, more the sheriff was and, and all that, there was a discussion. Sure there was a discussion there, and that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. Todd, Todd just provided, I guess, more justification for tabling it and having the discussion. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, since I already broke the rules, is there anyone else that wants to discuss this? Okay. Then um, all those in favor of tabling the request for part-time maintenance, uh, super. Uh, what technically? Part-time. Part-time maintenance specialist. 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 There you go. Technician. Whatever. Technical in the jail. <laughs> Please state aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Tabled. In the next meeting. Um, the next is public <coughs> safety. <coughs> um, Director Lake, did you want to present? Uh, I'm presenting to, to, to change the job status of my lead telecommunicator to a 911 supervisor, uh, make that position a, a non-union. Read, I guess, there was a 911 supervisor many years ago when I had the position and then I was promoted above that. But now, after the years, it's, it's really come to light that it's the need of a second non-union person involved with 911 uh, to handle things when I'm not there, as we've discussed in the past, as you know, other offices. Uh, so he, he's re I'm requesting that we increase from the lead telecommunicators uh, that position to come to a non-union 911 supervisor. So the request is to. <clears throat> take the lead telecommunicator's base salary, not including um, overtime, excuse me, his base hourly wage times 2,000 for 80 hours, right. uh, which would equal $45,302.40 and increasing that by 20, well, increasing that to $47,823. Non union full time with benefits. Yes. Do I hear that motion? 
I'll make a motion to uh, increase Ken McCorson's wage from $45,323 to $47,823 uh, with the understanding that he would be uh, um, exempt uh, to overtime and um, achieve the title of, of 911 supervisor. 911 Supervisor slash deputy director. Of nine one one. <laughs> okay, so he's. And the reason for, oh, sorry, first of all, uh, do I hear a second? Second. Thank you. The reason for calling it that is because the AFSCME contract specifically spells out a 911 supervisor, which just hasn't been filled in 11 plus years. Yep. Oh, well, you said that. Contract? The AFSCME contract specifically cites oh, okay. a 911 supervisor, so that's why, although I want to call this a deputy director, mm -hmm. I'm saying that it should be slash 911 supervisor so that it's clear that we're not creating this thing out of the blue. It is a position that. It was, it was an existing. Right. So then that person, if need be, is eligible to move back to the union as like <coughs> chief deputy or. Right. Or, um, Yes, if the position gets cut, he would be eligible to go drop back into the union, much like if I believe the warden or the deputy warden could do the same because they came out of the union. Make sense? All right, I'm for this for a bunch of different reasons. Uh, the first is because the nature of what Mr. McCorson is doing has changed in that he is handling project management of some major projects, the radio project and the computer aided dispatch in the regional system. Uh, come to mind as the most immediate and important big picture project management task that he is doing. Uh, he is also putting in a lot of hours taking calls from uh, many different agencies after hours and such which brings to light an issue uh, with him being an hourly employee. If he were salaried he could take those without any issue. If he's not really he probably shouldn't be answering the phone which causes a problem obviously when we're talking about emergency management and dispatch. Um, it shouldn't cost us anything because this year we were able priority, to... Priority dispatch, no, we're not having to pay annual maintenance starting in 2018 because that's coming out of regional money and that's a, a cost savings of $6,500. Well, I think the, the term is, is that you consider it to be budget neutral. It's Correct. As technical Better than budget, budget, neutral. <laughs> budget neutral. Budget neutral. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Mr. McCorse's performance has been outstanding since we promoted him to lead telecommunicator. Um, it conforms better with the county's uh, overall structure in terms of having a chief deputy and or deputy director. Uh, to be clear, he would be managing more people, and kind of does already, manage more people than, for instance, the sheriff's office or the jail, which have deputy, um, chief deputy positions. And furthermore, there is a need within the 911 center to have management, which includes discipline, which currently there is no one under the department director that can do that because they're all union members. There are currently only in 911, there's the director, Mr. Lake, all other 911 employees are union, which means no one else can do discipline or true management. And that means that it's had to get kicked up to the commissioner's office at times, which causes a great problem because we're not in the day-to-day -day and can't really manage in the absence of the director. So for those reasons, I am very much in support of this. Any other comments or discussion from the board? I would just say going through the salary surveys um, for other six class counties, I can't find one that doesn't have a deputy director. Um, we're probably the only one that is in the salary survey that doesn't have a deputy director. Um, this department is much larger than the majority of the departments in the county, um, all, I mean, most of which that, that I'm aware of have a deputy director of some type. Um, yeah, this makes sense just from that standpoint. Also, I would um, second Commissioner Catherine's um, review or sense of Mr. McCorson's work and his current role it has been, in my opinion, exemplary. And, He's done a phenomenal job of sharing information, putting reports together, um, taking care of issues that otherwise might have to be um, delegated, you know, at a higher level. And, and uh, so I think that it, I think that it, 
it's warranted. I would also say that he's done a lot of work above and beyond his current position. Um, so I think, you know, and then when you add in overtime and everything else, I think that the, the increase is, is certainly justified. So Todd, from a call volume, six class counties across the board, understanding that we take Forest County's calls? Half, half of Forest County. Half. So where does that put us in we, call we're, range? As you call, in call volume, we're, there's, uh, of the local six class counties, we're above, we're above Elk County, we're above Clarion County, we're right about dead even in McKean County. Okay. Crawford County's higher. They're, you know, we're the bottom. Warren County is the, the very bottom of six class counties. Mm -hmm. In what respect? Population. Okay. Right. Population. But our call volume is, you know, is as high, if not higher, than. You know. Okay. I and, think. Oh, I'm and, and they have a similar structure that, that we're heading to? Yes. Okay. Yes. If not more. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So if this position is approved, we will not be filling the lead telecommunicator position. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So this is basically a title change. Correct. With a bump in salary because he will no longer be able to work overtime. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion from the board? Public comment? All right. <clears throat> Could you read back the motion as it was made? Okay. Uh, lead tele, tele. Ken McCorson will go to lead telecommunicator. Oh, no, no sorry. go from lead telecommunicator telecommu with a base salary annual rate of 44302 to a salary of 47823. Title to 911 supervisor slash deputy director and not fill the lead to telecommunicator position. Just for clarity, his current salary is 45323. I think I said 42. This one. 45, 3, 5, 3, 2, 3. Okay, I have 43. Uh, according to it. That's not the way spreadsheet. <laughs> I use right. so. Okay, I was just looking at the current contract. Right. Whatever. Okay, is the motion clear? <laughs> so is, he's ending up at 47823 then? Yes. Okay. Alright, if the motion is clear, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. What's the effect today? <laughs> you can so, ask that after the vote. Uh, it's just, today, right? If it's not beginning stated, of the pay period. Okay, well, at the beginning of the next pay period, everyone in agreement with the friendly amendment? I'll get you the date. Oh, I wasn't asking for a minute, I was just asking for. <laughs> yeah. Because we haven't, I haven't been on point of discussion. But that's everyone's understanding, yeah. correct? Okay, very good. Uh, there's you. nothing else on the agenda that I'm aware of. Is there anything else the board wishes to speak about? Very good, then I would. Sorry. Move to adjourn. Here, a second. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. We are adjourned. 12.15, sorry to uh, start our work session a little bit late.